these are the tax brackets for 2023 tax year. Let's say my income is 500,000 Rand for the year. You might think that this puts me in the fourth tax bracket and I would owe SARS 36% of my income. But it's easy to make this common mistake when looking at this. This error can cause quite some confusion and or misunderstanding. Before we get to the tax brackets, let's cover some basic tax rules. The first rule is that the first 91,250 Rand that people earn is tax-free. This is due to the annual tax rebate. It also increases when you are over 65 and further increases when you are over 75. Secondly, we also have to look at deductions. If you invest into an RA or you make Section 18A charitable donations, you can sometimes drop down to a lower, to a lower tax bracket. These are called deductions. And so let's say I made 50,000 Rand in deductions. That means if I earn 500,000 Rand minus the 50, then I've got 450 left to cover the tax brackets. The correct way to look at the tax brackets is to perhaps think about them like either ladder, a ladder to climb or buckets that you have to fill up. So the first 226,000 goes into the 18% tax bracket. The rest goes into the 26% tax bracket. And finally, the, re the last bit of the 450 goes into the 31% tax bracket. So that's why they are called marginal tax rates. It's marginal increases as the income increases. And that's how tax brackets actually work. However, what if I get a bonus? If I get a bonus, that new money first goes into the empty space in the 31% tax bracket, and then it spills over into the 36% tax bracket. The bonus is taxed at 31%, and then a portion of it is taxed at 36%. So finally, if SARS wants to actually increase the top tax rate, which is 45%, it doesn't necessarily mean that the previous tax brackets might be affected. In closing, marginal tax rates is a pretty simple concept once you get the hang of it. Oh, and one last thing. Even if you are at the 45% tax bracket, you are actually not paying 45% tax. But I'll leave that for another video.